So hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. It is time for episode 6 of The Last of Us. It is the best part of the week, every week. As you can see, I'm handling my um, Pedro fixation very fine, very well. See, when I'm sitting here, that looks fine. That just looks like a poster. Just to put it into perspective. Yeah, it's a bit bigger than a poster. So I have him on my shoulder to judge me when I inevitably cry for the sixth week in a row at this goddamn zombie show. Poetry on a Monday morning for you. As always, the more extended version of this reaction is going to be going up over on my Patreon. I do a whole bunch of other reactions over there. There's some old shows like the original Star Trek, Buffy, The X-Files, fun stuff like that. And this week I'm starting up reactions to The White Lotus. I recently started reactions for Lockwood & Co. And I'm also starting reactions slash commentary style videos on Supernatural. Starting from Season 1, Episode 1. So the link to that is down below in the description if you want to check it out. Link to my Twitter, my Instagram, everywhere else you could find me is in the description. Let's go, I want to feel something. And we have The Mandalorian next week, as well as The Last of Us. It's just petrol station up in here. Beep, beep, motherfucker, all aboard the petrol train. <laughs> oh, why'd you gotta traumatize us by showing us this again? Oh yeah, they really did just throw that scene in to traumatize us for no other goddamn reason. Let's show us the sad moment and then skip three months into the future. Thanks, Last of Us. Appreciate it. Is that Harry fucking Clearwater from Twilight? Take the gun out, two fingers only, put it out of reach. Okay. You made him, yeah, I did. Came here before you were born, Sonny. Get the hell away from everybody. So what, they fucked off up here and just lived in seclusion, kind of like Bill and Frank? That seems to be the way to do it. Everyone has a happy life when they fuck off by themselves. That's what I would do. But you never go past the river here. We see the bodies they leave behind. If your brother is west of the river, he's gone. Oh, okay, okay. No, 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 but are you? Because just to remind you that you're dead, I'm fucked. So I'm fine. I don't believe that. Was that like PTSD or a, or a mini panic attack? All we have to do is cross the river of death. You were specifically told to avoid the river. I got it bad for this motherfucker. I would so hold his hand and frolic through the snow, mind him when he got nervous. My God. Look at these shots. Fucking stupid. Stunning. Should have stolen two rabbits. We can get our own rabbits. You're gonna teach me how? Why am I getting vague flashbacks of a scene of hunting in the goddamn game that I hated? There was a whole segment about hunting rabbits. Can I have some? No. Where do you get alcohol when the world has gone to shit? Jeans and making cure. Mm hmm. Okay. Then what? An old farmhouse, some land, the ranch. Behind you, there's ocean, and ahead of you, there's a wall. Or else to look what up. Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin. Ah, uh, this poor baby child wants to go to the fucking moon. Charlie Ryan. Get some sleep. But, like, when does he sleep? Because whenever she's sleeping at nighttime, he's always awake on watch. Motherfucker fell asleep on watch. Mumbling in your sleep. I woke up early. You were passed out, so I took second watch. Bella is killing it. As Ellie. Oh. I cannot get over how beautiful this is visually. Oh my god. What a treat for the eyeballs! I'm learning how to whistle. You don't know how to whistle? Shh, they sound like I know how to whistle? Oh, can handle the shooting. All you get is lip gloss on your fingers. I'm not sure about the dressing. Does that mean electricity? Yeah. Hmm. Don't ask me, I don't have a clue. <laughs> he learned from the siphoning incident. He knows she's an inquisitive little bitch. And he's like, I'm not even gonna pretend like I know, okay? Drop the gun. It's a map, but okay. Oh, that gun. All right. I didn't even notice that. I thought it was a strap off his backpack. Let's talk this through. How about you shut the fuck up? Okay. Easy. This chance for a bullet. You have a dog? If you are infected, he will smell it and he will rip you off. Is he having another attack? How lovely. Man, this looks like the old Budweiser commercial. Remember that ad that was really weird? It had a bunch of horses running around in the snow and it was like, drink Budweiser, be a cowboy or something. I don't remember. Whoa. Again, the set, the visuals, divine. What the fuck is that? Are they building a gallows? Tommy! 
Tell me, boy, what the fuck are you doing out here? Playing the house, building shit, and your brother was worried sick about you. Fucking hell. Would it be nice to have a moment here, maybe just for family? Maria is family, actually. This crazy son of a bitch fucked off, found a new community, got engaged, ditched his brother, and just never reached out to him? Yeah, staying off the radio, like how you never radioed your fucking brother. No one person's in charge. So, uh, communism. Nah, nah, I didn't like that. It is that, literally. No oh my way. god, Tommy's just had a communist awakening there. He's like, the fuck? Doesn't seem like you age much. You, on the other hand. Hey, he has aged in a sexy way, okay? Still we shit. love the salt and pepper look. Stop the slander, Tommy. How's Tess? She's fine. All right. Liar. She's fucking super dead. She the one who kept you off the radio? And all they ask is that I follow their rules. I'm your brother. We murdered people. And I don't judge you for it. Clearly you do, because you didn't want him here. And sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do in a goddamn apocalypse. He's not good enough to be here with you? I'm gonna be a father. I feel like I'd be a good dad. I hope you're a better dad than you are a brother. Just because life stopped for you, doesn't mean it has to stop for me. He's been obsessively trying to find him all along. And he's been shacked up here with a fine life, Christmas trees, sheep, a fucking a woman. He's been grand the whole time and he didn't even let Joel know. Fuck you, Tommy. Tommy sucks. I want to wrap him in a blanket and pet him on the head. Oh, stop it. Stop. Is he imagining, is he imagining what life would have been like if Sarah had been here? It's uh, super fucking purple, eggplant. This level of softness is divine. It's really gorgeous to see. I was an assistant district attorney. Sarah was Joel's daughter. But there are clearly things you don't know about Joel. Oh, like how he used to kill people? I know about that. Tommy was following Joel. The way you are now. Wow, maybe I'm smarter than Tommy. Look at how defensive she is about Joel. I love her. hell of a lawyer. The only people who can betray us are the ones we trust. Well, that's wise as shit. She's Who's dropping that? fucking facts in this kitchen. Thanks, but the new boots don't help to repair the hole in my heart that you left when you just left me and didn't tell me where you were. Is he gonna tell him? She's immune. Oh. What? You try and walk out. That's right, sit your ass down. Thought he was gonna try and walk out of here. I was like, we're gonna have to body slam Tommy into the goddamn table. Oh, he's realized how much he Joel. actually cares about her and how much he loves her, and it's what frightening the Christ out of him. To make up for the things we did. It's the last thing I'll ever ask. Oh, jeez. Give this man all of the Emmys. Give this man all of the awards. Beautiful Mr. Brown Eye starts crying, talking about a dream, and I feel like I've been hit in the chest. What an impeccable actor. This show better sweep at the awards. Whatever the awards are, it better sweep them. Got you on 38. What are you so afraid of? The fact that he gives a shit about you, it scares him. I'm not her, you know. Maria told me about Sarah and... No. Everybody I have cared for has either died or left me. Everybody fucking except for you! You're not my daughter. I'm not sure as hell ain't your dad. Oh! You know what? Fuck you, Joel. Hmm? Fuck you. This is so not the way. And I understand. It's for the best or whatever, because he's afraid to get close to someone. But fuck you. I am crying because of a sentence that some made-up man on the telly said to a made-up girl on the telly. What? <laughs> what has this show done to me? Steve, come here. We're gonna use Steve's arm. I don't have a fucking tissue. This is Steve, by the way. He's my giant slot. Sit up there. He's my emotional support animal. She's being so mature about this. I would not be this mature. I am already like fired up and ready to fight. I'd be like, fuck you, I want Joel. Hello, Tommy. Lovely to see you again, but fuck you. I feel unwell. 
<laughs> that really upset me. He better be in this stable with that horse or so help me God, I'll never forgive him. You deserve a choice. I still think you'd be better off with Tommy. Let's go. I forgive him. I said it once and I'll say it again. He might not be her dad, oh. but he is her dad. Sometimes dads fuck up and that's okay. Tommy's just happy to be off the hook. He's like, thank fuck, I don't have to go. I'm not flinching. Mm -hmm. Whoever in Hollywood decided to cast him as the dad figure, the disgruntled dad guy with an adopted kid, give them awards. Yeah, right. He's agent. His fucking agent is on to something. I'll tell you one thing. First of all, with Mando, and now with fucking him. I want to kiss his agent delicately on the temples and be like, thank you. Oh! He made a custom target and all for her. Which was building? That's right. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Contract. Stop! When I was a kid, I wanted to be a singer. You gotta sing something now. No. I want to hear him sing. sing. Must be from the old labs. Oh. <laughs> Look at this go. That's a bad sign, though, right? Do you know what? I'm glad that I didn't replay the game in the lead up to this because like, I can't remember enough to be able to predict shit but I have flashes every now and again. Just enough to unnerve me. There's a packing list. Something to make before moving. I don't fucking like this. This whole setup looks like you're about to walk into a saw situation. This, this isn't good. This isn't it. Although, although you got beds in front of doors. Rick! Back out to the courtyard where all the monkeys are. You can set the monkeys on them. Now is not the time to be holstering. You're gone! Oh! Go to fucking sleep! She was about to kill him. Don't pull it out! Don't pull! Wait, wait, he would know not to pull it out because you, you, once you pull it out, you start gushing. He would know that you gotta keep it in the fucking wound. Joel's looking paler than the fucking snow at the moment. Oh, no. Fuck. Joel, you gotta get up. I don't know where the fuck I'm going. What the fuck I'm gonna do? Please. He had to jump into instant kill modes and then got stabbed. That was the best episode so far. Pedro, I don't know what the fuck you're smiling at over there, you big smiley bastard. Every time I end an episode of this... I'm crying. I'm gonna cry again while editing. I'm probably gonna cry again while rewatching it later. I know she's a kid and I know that she's scared, but maybe if she had like tried to steer towards the train instead of letting him flop onto the floor like a dead fish, you know, you know like letting him letting him bleed out in the fucking snow and being like, Joel, I can't do this without you. It's like, well, okay, then you need to get the dying man off of the freezing cold floor. You need to plug up that hole that he's bleeding out of. Um, fuck. As I said at the beginning, the link to my Patreon is down below where the more extended version of this reaction is going up. My eyelashes are actually starting to stick together. Fucking hell. I can't wait to talk about this episode. I already have so many points and I've only seen it once. Wait till I rewatch it. There's going to be so many points that need to be made. I can't wait. Oh my god. I can't. I can't handle this like a normal person. I'm like, be normal about it. It's just a TV show. Be chill. I don't have a chill bone in my body. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching. The chat video will be going up soon. And I'll talk to you all soon.